I told you I wasn't done with this. Anyways, here's Ogopogo bobbing his head up and down like some sort of crazy lunatic. Die, Ogopogo. You're an abomination. I love these things. They're sharks with larger shark fins attached to them. Or they're minnows, I forget. That's sort of clever. Hey, don't do that. Empty? Wait, is that a waterfall in the background or a river or... I don't know, the geometry in this room is really screwy. Ah, uh, monster party. Neither monster nor party, but something all different altogether. Whoa! There's some more nightmare fuel for you. Stop that! Empty! Why are you wasting my time, game? A shark. A shark. Not really. More Ogopogos. Or Loch Ness Monsters. Watch my dance. Oh, I love this room. This is the, probably the funniest boss room. You know how you beat this boss? You stand still. You don't attack. If you attack, this boss never ends. You just stand there. Watch the zombies do their dance. I don't have the thriller music, but just watch the zombies dance. Just watch them dance. Don't touch your controller. Don't touch the controller. Yeah, this is the actual boss fight. This is actually pretty clever. It's a boss fight that you beat by standing completely still and watching the zombies dance. I'm not sure what happens when you don't. I think the fight just keeps going on forever. And there, that's our boss fight. We watch zombies dance. Yeah, I'm pretty much 100% uh, confident when I say that this is the strangest NES game there is. Hands down, absolutely, undeniably, there's just so much weird in this game that it fascinates you with every single stuff it throws you at you. Catch my javelin! Oh, okay, it's... it's... is it Optimus Prime made out of wood and Shy Guys? I don't know. What is that? Some kind of wooden robot. Wooden robots are such a cool idea, even though it's kind of past the point in history where something like that would really make sense. Now it's all about... Heck, even metal robots are kind of out of date. The future robotics is all, uh, silicone plaster stuff. Pla not plaster, plastic, you know? You know, giant robots? Not really giant robots, but robots in general that have a very iPod-esque quality. Not the big walking tin cans in the 1950s like Forbidden Planet. But wooden robots? It's such a weird idea. Ah, oh, this is so tiring. I'm glad I'm cheating. One shall stand, and one shall fall. Ah, it's Ogopogo. Yeah, in case you're wondering what I'm talking about when I say Ogopogo, is there's a place not too far from here called Lake Okanagan, and they have a mythical beast in their water called Ogopogo. It's on all their gift shop crap. It sells more if Ogopogo's on it. Ah, you're empty. I've never felt so empty. This game does have a good sense of humor, I'll give it that much. Generic and pointless and redundant, but sil and silly is heck, but I love it. Die! Yeah, these things take a while. Reminds me of fighting the dragon at the beginning of Dragon's Lair on NES, and I'm not gonna do that. I may make a video where I attempt it, but it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm not gonna beat it. <gasps> a pill! Pop drugs and you become a dragon! Proverbially. Not literally. You'll probably just be a drooling husk on the ground. You know, panicking, having some kind of seizure. Talking about, uh, God watching you and trying to make you into his sworn soldier, and then you throw up have a big fist fight with random people in the mall. Police have to detain you and they're like, Sir, have you been taking hard drugs? Yeah, you don't want to pop drugs, kids. Die! Question mark. Not an answer mark. You know, why hasn't anyone invented that? An answer mark? Seems like a no-brainer idea for a punctuation in my books. I mean,
Okay, if I'm not mistaken, this is, uh... Is this the upscaling room? Uh, I forget. There's one room that that makes you, uh, go repeatedly up. Oh, I hate this room. I don't know if this is the part in the game where this happens, but there is a part where it's basically a glitch, a bug that screws you over. And if you go in this one door and complete the boss, you, you can't beat the game. It keeps you from getting a certain uh, key or something like that, and the game becomes unwinnable. It's a game-breaking glitch that's pretty easy to find. So, uh, it's the biggest flaw in this game. It can completely screw you over. So I'm going to do a little bit of research before I come back to this game, and then we'll, we're almost done. We're about, I'd say, about 80, 70, 80 percent through Monster Party. So another video, or maybe two, will be enough to beat the game. Yay! Bye!